guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing more of a natural, fresh face makeup look. Truthfully, just because summer hit Vancouver like yesterday, so I need to switch up my makeup now so that when I leave my house on days like today where it is smoking outside, that I'm not wearing as much makeup. I'm still wearing a lot of makeup, but basically I'm wearing the right makeup to give me a healthy, natural look but still look put together. Does that make sense? Basically what I'm saying is like I'd love to be one of those kind of girls that can just put on a BB cream, a little mascara and go and have that fresh face look and like dewy skin, but it just doesn't go like that. I can't play around with BB creams because honestly, halfway throughout the day they usually wear off on me. So if you guys want to see what products I use to get this look, keep on watching. I'm starting with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and this was my first time trying it out. A lot of you suggested it so I finally gave it a go and I gotta say I loved it. It went on super smoothly, it had a good coverage, I like the color I went with too because lately I keep buying the wrong colors and it set after like a few seconds on the skin and that never happens for me. I didn't even need to use a powder to set it. So this was just a first impression of it. If you want to see me do a full review, leave me a comment and I'll be sure to make a video for you guys. Next up, I used the Maybelline Master Conceal under the eyes to get rid of them dark circles and this just woke my whole face up and it gave me more of a brightened look and I also just bought this too, so this was my first time trying it and I gotta say I was impressed with this too, Maybelline and their concealers, I'm telling you. And then I used the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder to lightly set it. I've been using this Bliss spray lately after my complexion's on. It's called a Radiance Restoring Mist, but I just feel like it adds a bit of hydration back into the skin, especially after I use powders. And then it was time for brows. I'm using a spoolie to brush them out, and I use the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Pencil. These are new, so one side twists up to the brow color, and on the other it has a roll-on cream product to highlight just underneath. I just did a video on my brow routine, so check that for the full tutorial. Moving on to eyes, I used a Sigma Cream Base in Unveil and applied that to just the lid, ending at the crease, and this is gonna help keep my shadows on throughout the day. And then I used my Tartlet Palette and mixed Free Spirit and Super Mom together, and just brushed that along my brow bone and into the inner crease. Next I picked up the Wanderer shade with my MAC 217 brush and applied this to the crease. It's a really soft brown, so that's going to help define this area without looking too heavy. Then I picked up just a touch of Dreamer and applied that over top, but focusing it more to the outer edge of that crease. And you can barely even tell we used a darker brown, but I'm just using these shadows to enhance the natural contours of the lids, giving it a little extra definition. Then I used the Anastasia Glow Kit and mixed these two together and applied that to just the lid. And these are soft highlighters, so they're perfect for adding a subtle pop of color. And then I just used the MAC brush to go over that crease again to define the edges and clean up in case any highlighter went up too high. That tends to happen. Now I'm using a brown rimmel eyeliner to rim my waterline and then apply a small line as close to the lash line as possible to darken this area up because I won't be drawing on a full liner and I used brown instead of black because it's less, less harsh. Then I used my finger to smudge and blend it out. I was trying out this new Tweezerman lash curler to curl my lashes today and it's one designed for almond shaped eyes. I thought that was pretty cool because not everyone's eyes are shaped the same. It feels like it spreads it out a little bit more so it won't pinch the lid if that makes sense. And then I topped it all off with some L'Oreal Miss Manga Rock Mascara. Love this one by the way. Makes it look like you're wearing false lashes. And then I went back to the Sigma Cream Shadow Base to finish under the eyes. I ran some of that along the lower lash line and then used some of the Wanderer Shadow to set it. And then I lightly connected it to the top shadows where they go out into a soft wing. And then I finished with some mascara for the bottom lashes too, can't forget about them. Now I needed to add some warmth into the face because that's what's going to bring this whole look together. So I used the MAC Gimme Sun powder with the Kabuki brush first and lightly buffed that all over the cheeks, 
into the contour and then bringing it up into the temples and the forehead. You guys, if you watch my video, know the drill. I apply it like this in every one of my tutorials. And then I use the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Again, what I always use, it wouldn't be one of my looks without me using this product. And this is from the Cheekathon palette. And I'm just applying that pretty much over top of the Matte Gimme Sun, layering it, if you will. And then I picked up the Coralista blush and applied that to the cheeks. Also one of my fave blushes, but it just works perfectly for every look. It adds a touch of color and makes it glowy at the same time, but the glow doesn't stop there. It's time to get serious with this look. I mix the two together, the two highlighters, with a fan brush, and I'm applying that to the cheekbones, and I'd love to be able to wear just a foundation or a BB cream with more of a luminous, glowy finish, but it just doesn't work with my skin type, so I have to put the glow back into the skin, so I'm applying it to the cupid's bow, I went a little heavy giving myself a glitter stash, but I will blend it out. Then along the bridge of the nose, a little bit on top of the brow, then onto the tear duct. And this looks so pretty here. And then also along the brow bone, so it catches all of the light when you turn your head. And then to finish, I used the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Also love this step in very small doses though. One spritz each side, you're done. Does anybody else do that when you pull forward to make sure you got all the product? Now for lips, I used my Kevin Aquan lip pencil in medium to line and define because we're skipping lipstick for this look. I wanted to keep everything soft and natural, so I used the new Lancome Juicy Shakers. These are so stinking cute. They're like having little martini shakers in your purse because you do have to shake them up before applying them to mix the two shades together. It's a lip oil that comes with a cushion applicator, so it applies like a gloss, but it's really lightweight not sticky, perfect for summer. This is the color Bohemian Raspberry. I love this one for a pop of color, but I did want to show you my other fave, so I wiped this one off, and then while I filmed this, I realized how pigmented this one was. It's like a lip stain afterwards. So I dabbed the color out with a bit of foundation so I could show you the next one, and you know I love a nude lip. It's what I always wear. So this is the one that I've been wearing pretty much every day since I got it. It's called Freedom of Peach, and I've either been wearing it alone or layering it over my nude lipsticks as a light gloss. And that is my fresh faced natural makeup. Thumbs up the video and leave me a comment if you liked my look. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I want to know what videos you'd like to see me film next, so make sure to leave your video idea down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.